Hi, my name is Neeraj. Um, Brett, our president, is not here, so I'm going to be leading today's uh, meeting. So I'd like to welcome everyone to the July 2023 meeting of the Penfield Library Board of Trustees. Thanks for joining us. Um, this is a public meeting, and it's being broadcasted on Penfield Public Broadcast. It's also available on YouTube after the meeting. Um, let's just go right down the agenda. Um, Everybody received the agenda. Do I have a motion to adopt today's agenda? I motion to adopt the agenda. Do we I'll have second a second? It. And all in favor? Um, let's go over last month's meeting uh, minutes. Um, do we, we have a motion to accept the minutes as we got Megan and a second? Second. Anna. And then I guess everyone in favor? Aye. Today, uh, today's, uh, this month's financial reports, I'm just gonna kind of go through it. I'd like to um, go through the budget summary. Um, this month is um, really through June, so that June's 50% of the year. Um, and if we look, drop down right to the bottom, uh, our total expenses are coming in at 44%, that's uh, well within the 50% threshold, so great going, um, the library, Rhonda. Um, everything else, basically wages, our biggest line item, that's coming in right in line, 45%. Uh, Again, that's better. Everything else that's coming in much better, like 33% for materials and 39% for contractual. So I anticipate more purchases in the latter half of the year. Um, gift and Memorial Fund, uh, there was, it was largely unchanged from last year, and our monthly balance sheet is looking all right. Um, one, one other note that I did want to mention was last, last month we, we saw that a CD was coming due, and we all agreed and voted that we're not gonna be renewing it from Canandaigua. So um, Jen actually um, was great. She uh, closed out the CD at Canandaigua and she deposited the money into our Family First account as, um, as we requested. So thank you so much, Jen. Um, let me see if there's any public participation. I see none. Um, Linda isn't here right now. She did text me. Uh, for the town liaison report, she said that uh, the town is working on normal summer activities. Um, that's including budget, basically nothing else, but they're just um, having their normal schedule. Um, anyone want to report for the friends? I don't see Judy here, um, so we'll just move on to next month. If she wants to report then, that would be cool. Um, finance committee, there is no uh, information there. Personnel, Anna did nothing. Strategic uh, planning, Jason, is there anything there? No. Nope. No. Okay, bylaws, Justin? Uh, nothing going on there. And then communications, Judy, or anyone else? I haven't heard anything from that and no. Nope. Nope. Uh, director's report, does that, everyone received uh, Rhonda's director's report? Did anything, <coughs> did, does anyone have any questions there? Um, I just wanted to say I noted that in there uh, she mentioned the library of things which I have yes. seen um, being promoted on social media with yes. a lot of positive comments. Um, it seems like people are really excited about that. I feel like um, there were also a lot of good suggestions from uh, the community about, about you know different things that they would um, like to see. So you know it was nice to see. I know that's something we've talked about um, in the past. So it was uh, it was nice to see that. I can uh, tell you that um, so hit. far we have 59 items in the library of things and of those 59 items, 34 are currently out today. That's awesome. So that's, you know, more than half of our items checked out. And, yep. and awesome. some of them checked out like within minutes, you know, we put them out on the shelf and, and people came right over and took them out. Yeah, I've been seeing it on social media and all that yeah. stuff. So it's been just a great addition to the library. I, I also noted the second bullet point that you had where there was a $15,000 grant and that's pretty exciting too, so. It is really exciting. Um, we are having Marie Benedict come in August, and mm -hmm. that was a grant from the same office, from Senator Brooks' office, and um, 
the, the series went really well, and well, we're waiting for our portion, but I assume that will go well. And so the senator decided that it was worth doing again, and so we have a second grant that's going to come up in 2024. So yeah, really exciting. I know that you had a meeting with Town Supervisor Debbie Draw. Um, is there anything that you can share on that, or? Right, so the meeting, the budget meeting, um, I presented the budget as, mm -hmm. as the board approved it, the library board approved it. Um, both the town supervisor and the CFO of the town were very positive about the budget. Mm -hmm. Of course, it has to go now to the town board for approval. Um, but I did really stress the fact that our facilities need some renovation mm -hmm. of some sort, or at least improvement. Yes. Um, and uh, although we are hoping for a new building or a complete renovation, in the interim we do need some upgrades, including paint and carpeting and perhaps right. some furniture. And they were um, they received the information well and they understood it and they mm -hmm. agreed with it. Um, they don't know where this funding will come from. It might have to come from our unallocated mm -hmm. fund balance, yeah. and, but they're willing I to put it into our budget proposal, which will then go to the town board in a few months. And I think this is, the budget is a great avenue to kind of communicate things to the town uh, of our needs. So great, great stuff. Anything else? Um, on that? On the or budget? Or anything else on the director's report? I just want to mention that the summer reading games have, have nice. really, really been going very well. We've been extremely busy at the reference desk and in the children's <coughs> room, and I really appreciate all that the staff is doing because they are really working, everybody is working very hard, so thank you to everyone. And I also want to mention how many people came out for our outreach event, mm -hmm. the parade, the 4th of July parade was really fun in the town. Um, residents who came out to welcome us, just um, it's just very uplifting and, and just a very joyful experience, so thank you to everyone. I know like the summer reading program, the, a lot of the kids volunteer for that, so. Yes. Um, it must be very exciting. It is. It's very. It's very. Um, it so it's all, it's all very positive. Yeah. Anything else? I mean, I think just in general, it's really nice to see looking at all of the programming and seeing the attendees. Um, you know, obviously, COVID really kind of had done a number on things, and so it's really nice to be getting back to seeing you know twenty, mm -hmm. thirty um, plus attendees for yeah. the different um, you know events and things like that because the the staff do such a great job with yeah. all of the programming. I do have one question for you from mm -hmm. the director's report. Um, the bids went out for the renovation of the Brayman Room at the last town board meeting back in June, and um, I, I know that, that we have had some contractors bid on it. I'm not quite sure at what point we are. I, I think the town has picked one vendor, but I haven't been notified officially about that. So my question to you is, should, should uh, the project proceed as per scheduled and, and the renovation take place mid-September, um, you know, the staff can make decisions with the town, but if the board wants to create some kind of committee to talk about paint colors, carpet colors, chair designs and such, um, you know, we would welcome your input. It, it shouldn't really wait um, till a board meeting, so if anybody wants to be on a committee for this renovation project, um, we can create that committee today, or you can just tell me you want to be there, and I can let you know when meetings happen. How, how do I you think, think you want to do it? I think, in, I, generally, I feel that a lot of times informally, it's it's uh, it works out pretty well, especially mm -hmm. with um, busy schedules. Everybody has busy schedules and everything, so I think uh, just to keep us updated on bigger. Um, kind of purchases or like bigger items like even colors or something just so then we're aware mm -hmm. um, just to run it by not that we need to approve we don't need to approve anything but just to say that hey because it was just so nice to kind of um, get our feedback even with when you did the children's room you didn't need our like approval but it was just so nice to kind of see it go full so we'll work that way. So as yeah, I learn I things, I'll give you that. options. And Leave us at the strategic level, and then yes. you guys do the operation. Yeah. But okay. updates would be great. Just email. Just an email. Like, that hey, sounds great. we did this today. Yes. Only when things happen. Not not anything else. Like, and I think all of our board is supportive, like, 100%. Thank but you. It, it would just... Yeah, I think it's definitely. It's kind of exciting, too. And I think definitely in the interest of, you know, keeping things moving along. Yes. Obviously, this project has been a long time in the making and so you know I certainly would hate to see you know something yeah. get slowed up by yep. you know us trying to make things 
too, too formal. And I think also, you know, the board overall is very supportive of, you know, the staff and the, the mm -hmm. people at the library. You know, you guys are the ones who are there, you know, day in, day out, and are, are going to have, you know, a lot of the insight into, you know, furniture-wise, what's going to work best um, and okay. things like that. Thank you. So. And the decisions that were made for the children's room it was awesome. Was awesome. Yeah, so it was great. I don't Good. doubt you guys. Great. People. Okay. Decisions. Thank you. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we don't have any unfinished business. We don't have any new business. So the new claims payment auditor uh, for August is Judy. And then for September, it's Jen. Um, so can we have a motion to adjourn this meeting? I know we need to. Oh, I have to do the, the claims, claims payment. payment. Then can and we actually, Deanna, can you pass me that? Because yeah. of course I left my copy at home. <laughs> All right, so I was uh, the auditor this month, so I would like to make a motion to approve the payment of vouchers in the amount of $24,879.40. And Second. All in favor? And can we have a motion to adjourn? Motion. Got it. And second? I'll second that. And all in favor, aye. That was a record. That was. <laughs> <Nice>. 642. <laughs>